We are back with another Boss Up Visual podcast show. It is your favorite host and CEO, Shakita D Days. I am super excited to be jump starting 2023. We have some have had some amazing meetings, and I would like to thank everyone that joined our financial planning meeting. That you are jump starting your life to a better, a better, more secure and stable life for 2023. And those of you that are gearing up and getting ready for the Boss Up Visual Conference that have had gotten your tickets, all your vendor seats, there are still sponsor seats, speaker seats, and general admission tickets for you to have your face in the place. So do not miss out on this opportunity. As I wake up daily and now I'm planning and organizing, marketing, promoting, um, impacting lives one day at a time. I see that there's a lot of people out there, you're still under the depression of when COVID began. When COVID began back in 2021, it's still lingering on in 2023. And I see that a lot of people are under that depression because I don't really see the social media moving as it is. I don't really see the flow of things. So what we're doing not only as me as a person, but as an organization, Derrida Denzel Days the Second Corporation, and as a media platform, the Boss Up Visual, we're here to support you and help you get through these tough times because we know that life is tough. Things are not getting easier. But in order for things to get easier, you have to start planning. You got to start executing right now. This is not the time to sit down, you know, all your resolutions that you had coming into the new year. You got to start working on those things. You got to put those things into play. So that's what we're here to motivate you. I wanted to get on for this week so that you guys could get up and jumpstart your 2023. Stop waiting. Don't delay on the things. Don't let money stop you. Start doing the little things towards your goals. Even though you may not have the money right now, start doing little things that do not require money. Like maybe writing down a list of things that you want to accomplish or achieve for this year. The list of things that you want to start off from A to Z or from 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 that you want to work on. And then start breaking them down little by little as you get the time or as you get the money or the resources that you need to execute those things. But do not let 2023 pass you by again. And you're sitting here another year and you're drowning. It's time for us to get up. Nobody's going to save you. It's up to you to save yourself. We can motivate you. We can push you. We can tell you. But you have to be the one to take the step. You have to be the one to take the action. You can't stop networking. You must continue to network because that's how you're going to go out and meet new people. That's how you're going to brand yourself. That's how you're going to keep yourself motivated. So don't think that nothing that you're doing is for nothing. Everything that you do is for something. So if you're feeling like, oh, you know, I may not want to attend this event. Um, I'm just not in the mood or I just don't have enough money. Um, It's time for you to start putting in your head, okay, when I do plan this event, what's going to be my execution? How am I going to leverage this event? How am I going to leverage this thing that I start? How am I going to execute this business that I start? But just know in your heart and in your mind that you need to start something. You have to start somewhere. And there are days when I get up that I feel less motivated. But the best person to motivate yourself is yourself. You have to learn how to self-motivate yourself, how to self um Develop yourself, and self-development is reading something, reading some material that's going to keep you highly motivated, that's going to keep you highly elevated elevated in that mindset that you need for you to to keep achieving, to keep accomplished, to keep getting up and working on that goal day after day. And it's okay for you to get up and say one day, I'm just going to take a break today, I'm just going to rest today. That's fine, but just don't rest for too long. Take your rest. Take your breaks, get up and execute that thing that you want to accomplish this year. And I just see it. I can feel the spirit of um, depression. I feel the spirit of depression on the world 
Because when I get up, it just doesn't feel the same. I don't feel the same vibe. I don't feel the same atmosphere on social media. I don't feel the same atmosphere in the business community. And we have to learn how to be able to be ourselves and then be able to um, be what we want to be when we're in certain settings. You have to learn how to adjust to different atmospheres based on the level of the audience or the level of the people. Because everybody's not going to be the same. And we don't want people to feel like they cannot be themselves. But you can be yourself, but there's a time and a place where you have to conduct yourself when you're a business owner or when you are you have a business or when you're conducting business or when you're networking. So I just wanted to get on this week, tell you guys to stay focused, stay motivated on your journey, get that thing started. You don't know where to start. Start somewhere. Start somewhere. We currently are licensed agents for Florida, my husband and I. So if you guys are looking to even become a licensed agent, a licensed Florida life insurance agent, it's not only life insurance, it goes deeper. That is one platform, a one way that you can make a little money in your pocket, a little to a lot. I'm going to say a little to a lot of money in your pocket for little trips that you have to take, for little bills that you have to pay. For little investments that you may want to make in yourself and in your business. These are what these little steps that you take add up to because you need capital. Everybody don't have the resources to get capital. The resources to receive capital. And we know that as African Americans, we are viewed at, we're viewed differently. So when we go and apply for loans or we go and apply for capital, they give, you know, we get the hardest time because we're so stereotyped when it comes to finances because sometimes, you know, some people are uneducated. We just didn't grow up in the the financial world and our parents didn't teach us financial literacy. So as you go on in this life and you're learning as a business owner and you're learning as a person in life that wants to grow and get somewhere, you have to learn these little avenues that you can touch that's at your reach that you can grab, that you can take, and you can invest in yourself. You can invest in yourself, and you can execute those goals that you want for 2023. So, I mean, we started Derek Denzel Days, the second corporation, about maybe, what, 11 years ago. And we've been struggling to to receive capital, loans, you know, um, grants, and we've been applying every day, but it's just the fact that how people view you as an organization, as a race, but you have to show them otherwise. So you got to keep going the best way that you can. So the financial services is one way that we, not only as people, but as a community, that we're raising funds for our organization so that we can host certain events that will impact the people and the members in our community because that's our goal. So regardless of the obstacles that we're having in receiving capital and not coming out of our pockets, we're making other ways, other ways through paid services, through memberships, through um, the programs and everything that we provide through our website, through the ticket sales that we get when we put when we host these great events because they're not um, events that you want to enjoy. These are great events that we put on that you get to get in there and network and everybody gets to benefit from being in the place. And the reason that there are ticket sales because there are overhead costs that we have to take care of up front to provide you with this great time. But as we get to that level where we're able to provide just a free event, then that's just what it will be. But we have to work our way up to that. We have to grow. So this is our second annual Boss Up Visual Conference, and we're super excited because it's only going to get bigger and better. So if you're on the fence and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should do this, the time is passing by. It's January. It's January 18th, 2023 today. You made a decision January 1st, 2023, that you were going to execute all your goals for 2023. So do not let money, do not let time stop you from building that stability in your life, 
that you desire to have, not only for yourself, but for your family. Thank you guys for joining us for another Boss Up Visual podcast show, and we'll see you on the next episode. Remember, this is the year for you to stay bossed up or to get bossed up. And this is why we created the Boss Up Visual platform to provide a media platform for not only business owners, but for people that are looking for avenues to earn revenue and income for their families and for their lives. See you guys next time.